the reoccurring theme in every one of the videos I've made thus far is that it's up to us to create the dialogue. It's up to us to discuss the possible scenarios. It's up to us to consider the what if. I've said it a million times if I've said it once in these videos. It's up to you to consider the what if. It's up to you to think what if A plus B happens, what would C look like? And what could C do to adversely affect my financial standing in the world? We're gonna give away five one ounce silver coins, one a month for the next five months. So every month there will be a winner of a free one ounce silver coin. All you have to do is one, be a subscriber to the channel. So do that first. If you haven't done it yet, go ahead and subscribe. Second thing you need to do, leave a genuine comment. Put your thoughts in, put your questions in, your concerns in, or your opinions for that matter, a genuine comment. So that's number two. Number three would be complete the form at the link pinned in the top comment in the comment section. We'll use that information so we can contact the winner and get the silver coin shipped out to you. The password when you're filling out the form is, of course, real money, because we're discussing real money on this channel, gold and silver bullion. You cannot make a sound decision without considering the vast number of possibilities that may factor in and play a role. This weekend serves as a bell ringer in a lot of ways, least of which being that this can happen in modern day America. However, to a man, I would almost be willing to bet that not a person went into this weekend thinking somebody's gonna take a shot at President Trump, and yet they did. The same way that nobody will go into a weekend thinking, hey, maybe four major banks fail this weekend and they declare a bank holiday on Sunday night and the banks don't open Monday morning. The same way that people don't punch their time card on a Friday afternoon leaving work and think about, oh, world war might break out this weekend. Yet it could. There are a lot, a lot of takeaways from what transpired this weekend. A lot. More than you could shake a stick at. There, there's countless things to consider out of what happened this weekend. But but I think the overarching, most simplistic takeaway from the attempt on President Trump's life was that nobody saw that coming. Well, people will say, oh, I thought that could happen, or oh, I've said it before, or I thought that's what was going to happen. Nobody believed it was going to happen this weekend, and yet it did. And had it not been for a millimeter of adjustment in the position of the head, I would be making a very different video today, and the nation would be in a very different place today. Sometimes just a millimeter course adjustment on the azimuth can take you to the destination that you want to be at, but you have to make that adjustment. I hope this horrendous event that happened this weekend causes people to start to reevaluate just what is possible and what may happen, as extreme as the thought may be. You have to consider those possibilities. This was a massive monumental event that happened and nobody saw it coming. Now, does that mean that gold and silver skyrocketed the next day as a result of this? No. And ironically, I don't think that's what's going to be what happens here. It sure is looking like a lot of big players behind the scenes were really spooked by what happened this weekend for whatever reason and are doing all they can to hold things steady Eddie while they clean up as much as they can and acquire as much inventory as they can because we are now locked on a trajectory that I don't know that there's any reversing course at this point. There are going to be extremely problematic events that play out between now and the election. I also believe the treasury market is in a major dilemma and is on the verge of a potential default that no one has prepared for because no one, including the people in charge of the treasury department, ever considered was a possible scenario they may have to contend with. The arrogance of the establishment that assumed that the world in perpetuity would just always stay under the control of the dollar and would always mop up the inflationary consequences of money spending and always buy U.S. treasuries because they set the system up to be that way, they never counted on the BRICS alliance. We're in a very, very precarious moment in time. I truly hope the one takeaway from this weekend that everyone has registered with them is that anything is possible. Anything can happen. And it is up to you to consider those possibilities. It is up to you to prepare for those possibilities. Because when something like this happens, there's no stopping it. It develops its own inertia. It develops its own momentum. It becomes a juggernaut that can't be stopped or interfered with. Can't reverse course. There is no reversing course at this point, and I'm afraid only silliness and questionable decisions will play out moving forward. Gerald Salente famously says, when people finally lose everything and have nothing left to lose, that's when they lose it. 
I don't want to see people lose it, but we're very close to that moment. It is up to you to consider what that might look like. It is up to you to consider what happens if there is a bank holiday. What happens if there is a U.S. Treasury market default? What happens if these countries that aren't happy with the U.S.'s foreign policy and monetary policy, who have broken away from the U.S. dollar, created the BRICS alliance? What happens if they push back? What happens if they stand in unison and demand redemption of their U.S. treasuries in their entirety in one singular day? What if the Treasury Department can't do that? And before you say, oh, that would never happen, let's not forget the same country in charge of that Treasury Department responsible for issuing all those treasuries that we're talking about is also the same country that's indirectly fighting one of the main players in the BRIC alliance, Russia, through a proxy war in Ukraine. What if Russia decides, you know what, we cannot afford for the U.S. to keep pushing pushing their agenda through the Ukrainian people, we can't keep allowing this to happen. So let's make it so that they can't fund this. Let's call in the treasuries. There's rumor on the internet that there's Operation Sandman. You might want to look that term up. I've been reading about Operation Sandman for over two years. Operation Sandman was a proposal put together by the BRIC group of countries that said, hey, if push comes to shove, we can just all stand for redemption of our U.S. treasuries simultaneously on one day and bring the U.S. financial system to its knees. Now, I would argue the implementation of the BRICS alliance and the integration of other countries and the inclusion of oil in the BRICS alliance and taking away the petrodollar was a less controversial, less dramatic effort to accomplish the same end, but they still have the option to pull the pin on the grenade if they want. These are very dangerous times that we're in. And for those who choose to ignore it and keep their head in the sand like an ostrich, that's your choice. But for those that are watching these videos, you have chosen to pull your head out of the sand. Now the question question is, do you lift it up high enough to get a good perspective on what's going on? Or do you get rattled by what you see and put your head right back in the ground? Please consider that it is ultimately your responsibility to consider the what ifs. And if you're going to consider the what ifs, you're doing an injustice to yourself if you only consider the first ring of what ifs outside the epicenter. You have to go several rings, eccentric rings outside the circle. You have to expand out and consider, well, if I'm willing to consider this, what about this? And if this happens, what could this do to this? Like the old saying goes, the dominoes begin to fall. It is up to each and every one of us to understand that nothing's off the table. Any possibility can present itself in one form or another. And the question you have to ask yourself is, how could it impact me financially? Because I can promise you, just as Saturday night happened out of nowhere and the nation went into panic and arguably the world went into a panic to one extent or another, know that the day that the banks don't open because of a bank holiday, it too will catch you flat-footed and it will create panic. It is entirely up to you to consider what might happen, as extreme as it may be. It is up to you and only you. This is something to consider and I hope that you do consider it. What happened Saturday was devastating. I believe it woke up a large percentage of the population. As the old saying goes, these are the times that try men's souls. It is up to you to be prepared for what tomorrow brings and you have no idea what tomorrow will bring and therefore you must be prepared. It's something to consider.